Alrighty! So Scott Hall was arrested for beating up his girlfriend. Huh? Scott Hall arrested. That term was number one on Yahoo last night. All right. But not surprisingly, there isn't a lot of videos about it on YouTube. Because when wrestlers do bad stuff, the wrestling fans either defend slash encourage them, or they just close their eyes and pretend it didn't happen. What's that? Scott Hall beat his girlfriend. I'm gone, dude. I'm gonna think about Benoit. Ooh. Oh, Benoit. Oh, Benoit. I love your tights, your German suplexes, and your kicks. You're such a technical wrestler with your four or five maneuvers. Oh, Benoit. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, if Scott Hall wants to get drunk and do drugs or whatever at his house and not hurt anybody, that's his choice. It's his business or whatever. It's against the law to do drugs there, but if he's at least getting drunk on his own fucking, you know, that's his shit. But when he's beating up his girlfriend, <laughs> then it's crossing the line there, all right? And of course, not every single wrestling fan but probably 90% of them are going to defend Scott Hall. He has problems. He's drunk. You know, if a guy beats up his girlfriend, you do not defend him. Okay? He has medical problems. I love him. You know, you don't do that. Okay? Not too long ago, there was the Chris Brown and CM Punk incident. Every wrestling fan, yeah, Punk, beat up Chris Brown because he's a woman beater. Fuck him, he's a woman beater. But if a wrestler beats up his girlfriend, if Scott Hall beats up his girlfriend, don't talk about that. That's his personal life. He's a wrestler! Help him out, guys! Please! Then they, they go on Twitter. Help! Help Scott Hall! Woman beater! <laughs> Help him, guys! You know, it's pretty goddamn fucking pathetic. Okay? If this guy is gonna beat his girlfriend, then fuck him. Alright? Millions of fans every year are crying for Scott Hall. We love you, Scott! We love you! Alright? He no-shows fucking places where he's supposed to wrestle. Gets drunk. He's all fucked up. WWE has to pay rehab for him all the time. He keeps fucking up again. They bring him back in TNA. He's like... <laughs> like just a fucking corpse there he, he's lucky that TNA gave him the chance he's no showing just to get drunk now he's beating women at this point it's time to tell this guy to go fuck himself all right if he's not gonna fucking shape up then he can ship the fuck out all right I'm I'm tired of having to defend Scott Hall and shit like this. If he's going to beat women and stuff, I'm not going to defend him. And neither should you. But of course, I'm talking to wrestling fans now, aren't I? Scott Hall! You know? Go fuck yourselves, all right? You guys are going to say that I am the bad guy for being upset at Scott Hall for beating his girlfriend. That's what you're going to say, all right? No, you guys are bad for defending that shit, all right? Oh, Scott Hall, Scott Hall said that the cops overreacted, all right? We're not going to believe the cops. 
or the eyewitnesses or anything. We're going to believe an old bullshitting drunk that's all fucked up on pills who just finished beating his girlfriend. He's right, because he's a wrestler. Just like Kurt Angle, the whole world is wrong except for Kurt Angle. Kurt gets drunk fucking doing his stupid shit, stalking his ex and all of this stuff. But if you mention that he did that, <laughs> you know? Oh, fuck you, motherfuckers. Fuck you. If Scott Hall's beating his girlfriend, then fuck him. Fuck him and fuck these other drunk and crazy psychopaths like Kurt and all these other fuck-ups out there. I'm tired of defending fuck-up fucking wrestlers. All right, fuck them. Scott Hall fucking ship up. Not only should he go to rehab, but he should go to a fucking mental institution for being so fucking stupid. Until next time, peace.